Is it worth it? Is it worth it? I scream in my brain at myself in the mirror as I drag my butt out of bed at an ungodly hour to do yet another workout that would take one more ounce off the scale before my weigh-in later that morning. Sound familiar? I truly had such a negative image about fitness and what it meant to me and my body when I was growing up. And when I use the phrase growing up, I mean not only physically, I mean mentally, since my relationship with my body and fitness has changed and grown over the years. It is no longer something that I drag myself to do. It is now something I do to celebrate what my body can do. Last Train with Tough Cookie podcast, we talked about the all-or-nothing mentality of fitness and its impact on personal growth and how it changes your outlook on not only your workout routine, but your everyday interactions with other relationships. I can continually talk to you about finding your why and why is it that you are doing what you are doing in the gym, but that can only take you so far. You also need to know your how and how you are getting to where you want to be in your journey. This is where the is it worth it phrase comes into play for me. You're going to encounter days where you just don't want to, things that you're going to have to work through because you might need that extra push. There might be something you discovered you have a fear of, something that you might have to create a new habit for. I want you to start preparing for those moments, moments when you ask, is it worth it? There is also the other side of the coin when it comes to that question. If your why and your how start to lead you down a more negative personal image of oneself, starting to alienate others and creating harmful habits, there needs to be a more honest conversation with ourselves, our trainer or therapist, and sometimes they can be the same person, about where this journey is leading us. Do you want to be 12% body fat? Am I willing to take my perfectly measured out macro meals with me everywhere I go, keep obsessing over the foods that I eat, pull focus from the conversation with my friends at lunch, and just stay focused on the food? What steps am I willing to take to stay at 15% body fat? And I find that this question is rarely asked. (laughs) Is it worth it to injure myself? Is my how starting to become obsessive in my mind because if I miss a workout, All my hard work, all my hard effort goes out the window because of my one day off? Do I want to keep my injury from healing because there is so much anxiety about taking a day off and doing the most important thing and rest? Is it worth it to keep comparing myself to others, scrolling through social media and comparing myself to those muscled out strong men and women, then becoming frustrated and upset I can't do what they're preparing their whole life to do? look like they do, do what they do, is it worth it too? I would like you to take a moment and acknowledge that you're doing something to better your already amazing self. You are doing it. You aren't just sitting around and expecting things to change without changing expectations. Change your thought process to look forward to your journey in those is it worth it moments. Start looking at those questions as... Is it worth it to stay healthy? I mean, to have a healthy relationship with food? To look at food as something to improve my performance? Is it worth it to be able to push myself up off the floor when I'm older? To add that extra five pounds to the barbell to increase the strength of my posterior chain and core when I deadlift to make sure that I have proper posture moving forward into the future? Is it worth it to be around another 50 plus years, another good 50 plus years of living my best life, enjoying my walks, jogs, or runs on a daily basis? Is it worth it to lift that much more in my PR and my lifts each month? Not to prove anything to anyone, but to know that I can. Is it worth it to PR in my race, to set a goal, to do the work, to see the results of my journey, to become that much more improved and something I love? When you train with Tough Cookie, we're looking to reach a truly personal goal and along the way, adjust when needed and hold close to our hearts our why. Make sure that the reason we are waking up at 5 a.m., holding back from that extra cocktail that won't do anything to improve our next day performance, Rachel. Okay, sorry, that last one was personal. (laughs) Or adding that extra 10 pounds to the set or one mile to the run. We are worth it. I encourage you to find the point behind all this work. Is it something you're doing for a dress, for a person, for yourself? And if one of those things is your answer, 
Is it worth it?